Hi guys, this is Joy Banerjee from AIK IT Support. So this time we will see how we can hack the admin user ID. Okay, so um, let's see. I will show you step by step how to do it. Okay, so let's say you are logged into your office with a normal user ID. Okay, and you don't have the admin privilege, but this particular trick requires one-time access to the admin user ID. Okay, so let's say I'm. Uh, logged in with a normal user so let me put the password okay let me sign in it's taking some time because it's a new user which I've just created so that I can show you exact the steps which you need to do to hack the user ID okay so admin user ID okay so I need to go to computers I will open C drive, I will open soft. So these are the few softwares uh, which I have kept in my directory and I have logged in with a normal user. So let, uh, let me show you, let me change date and time. Okay, change date and time. Oops, it requires the admin privilege to do it. I don't have it. Let's see, we can install any application. Again, we require uh, admin privilege to do it. So in the offices, it happens that this admin privilege are being taken, and you are with you are logged in with a normal user, and you don't have the admin password. And somehow there can, could be a chance you got the admin password, but the admin password on your particular network do change rapidly, randomly into the time intervals. Okay, so you need a way on which you can get the access, get the admin access when you want okay so this is important let me show you how we can do it okay so let me uh, log off from the normal user now we will log in with uh, admin user first okay so uh, this is my admin user so what we'll do is um, if you keep on uh, pressing the shift key okay so you can see the sticky keys open so this particular thing is opening with the admin privilege okay so what we'll do is we will replace this particular file with a command prompt so that we can take the control of the system okay so let me close this I will log in with the admin ID one time access is required please make uh, this thing noted okay so let me show you let me change the date and time Yes, I can do it. I am logged in with admin ID now. Okay. What you need to do is you need to open run and type percentage system root. So what it will do is it will take you to Windows directory. Either you go type this or you can go to computer, then C drive, then Windows. Okay. So this will open the same directory. Then what we'll do is we'll go to system32. okay this directory okay my mouse is really causing me damage okay so now we need to find a file which is set etc so you can see this so let me copy this and put it here okay and I need to find another file which is CMD okay so this is the file let me copy it and paste it here okay so what we'll do is we will replace the set at C which is the original file okay and let me rename this with set at C okay oh what it says is I'm already having the same name let me rename this with number one okay and let me do the rename again set at C okay and enter so you can see this is now there and let me copy and go to this directory okay let me do a control V to paste it make sure we do copy and replace okay we are replacing the file okay continue okay so what it says is I don't have the permission so let me take the permission of that particular file so set set let's see where is that I lost it okay so this is the file let me go there then properties then security and go to edit 
and okay mm, let me go to this okay the cannot do the edit let me go to the advanced option what I will do is I will take the ownership of the file so that I can get the access once okay okay you have taken the ownership okay now I can edit yes I can now edit so let me give the permission of administrative users and okay okay what I've done is I have rename this particular file and this is our command prompt which we have just renamed so what I will do is I will go here and do a control V and click continue okay now we can see set it C as a, our command prompt okay let me just log off okay so let's say after doing the log off or doing the reboot I our password admin password has been changed okay let me put let's say we put this oops the password has been changed so what I need to do is I need to change this particular admin password so what I do is I will keep pressing shift key okay so you can see if we've pressed the shift key and the command prompt is open okay so we have replaced the command prompt with that particular file so once this particular open what I can do is I will type some commands to change the password of the admin user ID and you can do most of there are several things which you can do okay so let's say I will open start comp mg mt dot msc which is computer management if we open this we can have the access to multiple things okay so now you can see this is opened I can go to users I can go to the admin user ID you can see hmm this is the admin user ID or you can uh, put your test user ID to be a admin user ID member so, but I would I would do a reset of admin user ID set a password put the password now let's say new password is okay let me put it again and click OK you can see we got the permission there is no error we can change the password we can see the events we can go to the device manager as well if you want to enable any specific device which are being uh, taken down or taken um, uh, taken the privilege from you you can enable it there can be an option any 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 of, any of the system okay so let me try to log in with that particular privilege so new password has been entered let me push the new password and now we can enter with admin privilege so hope this particular video is informative and I will make so many uh, more videos like this so what you need to do is you need to just like my channel and subscribe it like this particular video subscribe my channel and you will get more videos like this and do put me some questions or any other video which you want to make which you want me to make for you so I will do it and thanks a lot for being and do put your queries and comments I will help you out if you have any stuck up point. Okay? Cheers.